with drugs may not be the answer or the cure to your hormonal thyroid issue or even your autoimmune issue. Let's face it, I have been there myself and I learned the hard way. I really did. I thought the doctor would want to help me and do whatever she wanted to do to help me get better. And when I was sitting in that doctor's surgery, bawling my eyes out and in so much pain that I couldn't even think straight, and I had so much inflammation and I was already on so many drugs, and I was asking her, why can't we do these tests? Why can't we get these blood tests? Why can't we find out what's wrong with me so I can heal? Why can't I do this to get better? I have four kids. I cannot be like this. I cannot be this hormonal wreck who is just being this horrible person to my kids and my husband. I want to get better. Why can't you help me? And she literally sat there and said to me, well, we can do all these tests. But that won't work. We All we want to do is treat the symptoms so that your body can do the rest. And I just looked at her in shock. I was like, what do you mean my body do the rest? And she said to me, well, your body has this wonderful mechanism to heal. We just want to relieve the symptoms with drugs so that your body can do the rest. And I was like, my body does the rest my body does the healing and she's like yes and I went away from this and I went and did my own research and because I thought you know pharmaceuticals were the way to heal why why aren't they making this you know autoimmune issue go away and I learned something let's take Nurofen and Panadol for example how these actually work are they actually when you have these drugs and other painkillers as well, so Nurofen, Tremadol, um, Panadol, whatever you want to call them, these drugs actually switch receptors off in your brain and trick your brain, basically trick your brain into thinking that the pain has gone away. But the pain and inflammation hasn't actually gone away. It's just tricking your brain into thinking that. And that's why when you are healing from inflammation or pain, You still have, your body still knows that there's a problem, but you need to fix it. But when you're taking these drugs, it actually tricks your brain into thinking that there's no pain and inflammation there. And when you're doing this, maybe your body actually needs the inflammation. Your body uses inflammation as, oh, oh my gosh, we need to heal. We need to go fix this. So if you're tricking your brain into thinking the inflammation is gone, maybe that might not be such a good thing. Uh, So maybe what we're actually looking for is we should actually be treating the root cause to the issue so that your body can recover properly and quickly and so that you don't have reoccurring issues come back. You know, because when I was sitting at that doctor's surgery, you know, she was explaining all these autoimmune issues. She actually said that quite often if you get one problem, more occur. And I'm like, well, I do not want that. So so maybe drugs are not the cure for your hormonal thyroid issue. They may not be. So maybe we should actually be treating the root cause so that you can heal permanently and not have these reoccurring issues come back. Um, So yeah, I hope you're enjoying these videos. Tomorrow at this time, uh, I've already chosen the topic for tomorrow. And that is how to choose makeup that won't affect your thyroid, hormonal, or autoimmune issues. Um, And maybe natural is not actually the best. Or maybe there is something, you know, in natural makeup that may not actually be good for you. You know, we are sold on natural being good, but maybe that's not actually the case. Okay, I look forward to doing another live with you tomorrow, and I will talk to you then. Bye.